Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ryan's Range, episode 2. Stupid table. Uh, we are back exactly where we left off before. I had died close to uh, where I am planning on setting up home. And ended up back here at the spawn village, so I hung out for the night. I am now going to run back. I don't, I haven't used any type of chunk loaders. So I should have all my stuff still waiting for me. We've just got a little bit of a swim and a run. What I plan to do this episode is get some tools made. I need to get a furnace going so I can do some cooking and get some food going because, like I said, I'm playing on hard. I have to remember to eat. And then I'm going to do some resource collecting. I want to build a house, and I kind of have a design in mind. I was looking online at some different structures, trying to build something that fits in with the area and the, the sand that I've got. And Railcraft has these really cool um, sandy blocks. Let me, uh, I'll show you. Let me get up here and I'll let you guys see what I'm talking about. Oy. Gonna have to put in some kind of better transportation. Okay. Um, so they've got these cool sandy stone blocks and bricks, and I wanted kind of a brick structure, but I wanted it to match the environment, and we've got a lot of sand over there. So that's my plan. I'm going to do, I think, a little time lapse of me building the house to, uh, to kind of get let you guys see how I build. No, nope, I don't want to go that way. I want to go over this way. I'm having trouble walking. I don't know what the deal is. All right. Um, we'll run just a little bit. It's dangerous, but that's okay. All right. Let's get over, get this stuff, and get building. Oh, there's going to be bad things in here, aren't there? No? Looks all right. I like this hole. It's really cool. I'm really excited about this, um, this area and the layout. And uh, am I going to get stuck? Uh, ah. Nope. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's okay, don't panic. Alright, there is a pond or some water, I think, that I was in. Um, where was that? Over this way? No, it had to have been... Oh, God. I've done forgot. And it's going to be dark. Okay, well, I found where home is going to be. This area we'll have to clear out and build in. And I guess I'll face that way. So where was that water I was fighting things in? Crap. I'll tell you what, it's night, so I'm going to pause the recording and uh, what do I have in my chest? Let's, I don't have shit in my chest. Uh, wood. Real quick, let's get some wood. This is going to be every episode until I build a damn house is me nerd pulling up and then standing all night on a stupid post. So let's grab a little more here. Remember how I said I wasn't going to cut down a lot of trees because I wanted to be an eco minecrafter? Well, apparently I've said fuck that and <laughs> let's just do whatever it takes to survive, which is really the name of the game. I'm going to have to deal with some food very very soon but this uh, I should get through the night just hanging out on a pole let's get some wood and away we go you guys have seen this before awesome huh alright I will be back when it's morning alright the sun is coming up and it's freaking raining we're going to uh, punch our way down. You know, the nice thing about um, not remembering where you died is if you record the whole thing, you can go back and watch it. So while I was waiting for the sun to come up, I went and checked the last video to see where I had wandered off to. And it looks like, actually, right over in that direction, we went uh, checking out that... Uh, never did look at what uh, biome it was. We went and checked that out, and there's a lake over there that I died in. So let's go see if... Oh, crap. Maybe should have let it get a little brighter. This could be dangerous. So, uh, yeah. One death, by the way. Um, 
end of last episode, our first death, I, I barely made it 30 minutes into the game, and I died. So pro. So, okay, right over here is that... Oh, shit. I, no, fuck off. Go away. Go away. Let's, let's see if we can use the... Ah, don't. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No hitting! Oh, God. Oh, I'm back at this again. Good Lord. Just me running around back to where I used to be. Oh, ridiculous. We are back to where home base will be. We're going to try this walk one more time to see if we can get our stuff now in two different places. I have two chicken legs left, so I think I need to find the stuff in that pond because it had... Um, am I going the right way? Maybe it's more this way. Yeah, that's it. Um, I had potatoes, and I need those potatoes or I'm just going to die again, and I don't want to make that walk again. I'm tired of that walk. I need to get some wool. I need to make a bed. I need to get my tools. I need to start cooking some food. I am really doing so poorly at this game. So somewhere over here is where I just died, right? Um, I only had some wood on me. Well, I don't know. But more importantly, there should be some stuff in that water over there. Hopefully. Still waiting for me. Let's go check it out. Please. We need food. We are going to die. I don't want to die. I just want to build a house. Stuffs! Oh, stuffs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good deal. And food, berries. All right, let's let's eat something real quick. Let's let's just put some berries in us. There we go. Better than dying. Let's uh, reclaim this wood because we're gonna be a little eco. Why is that wood a different color? Hmm. Okay. I think one of these is hard sand or something. Um, I can put back on my armor, and everything else comes with us. Somewhere over here, let's see if we can grab that wood, then let's head back to home base and get some shit together. Definitely got to get more. Did I pick up any... Uh, oh, I guess I didn't kill that spider, he killed me. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for string to make wool. But... I'm not totally sure where I died. I didn't pick up a head though, did I? Nope. There's no head over there. No whereabouts. I probably walked right past it and somebody's screaming at me. But it's right there. Dumbass. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna spend all day looking for the stuff. These days are already too short. Okay, we'll call that a acceptable loss. Let's get back to base over here. All right. Let's get rid of this wood. And let's take inventory and see what we've got. Because right now I'm doing so poorly. It's my second day. And I don't have shit. So let's just get rid of a bunch of this. I don't need to carry on me. Let's see, this will make wool, right? Let's try it. That makes wool. Alright, but I need more. Can I plant this and make it grow? Probably next to some water. Let's go do that. The sooner I can get a bed together, the better. Now, one of the um, 
ingredients that I'm going to need oops for this oh, I can't plant that what about there okay it needs dirt there and can I have some of you please thank you um, so the ingredients I need are sand and bricks so I'm going to have to collect some clay oh seriously it has to be grass you can't plant it on it has to be grass next to okay well we'll leave that for now and hope that grows so did I make a shovel I believe I lost the shovel I do not see let's get a shovel we can go swimming and collect a bunch of clay sand I definitely have an abundance of Ooh, my trees are starting to grow I can take this and not feel guilty about it um I don't oh because the other wood I've been collecting is from a mod the system didn't check that off as an achievement I thought why am I getting wood I know I've had wood um, personal information, I guess. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's dump all this wood. I do want more of those acacias to grow. Did I get acacia? I don't remember. Uh, we'll put that in there. I don't want to lose that either. Okay, I have a pick. I have lost the shovel. Let's take this oak and make a shovel. And I need to collect some coal as well. Alright, I'm going back out there. I'm going to run around, collect a bunch of clay, maybe get some sand off the bottom of the ocean as well. Maybe I should make two of these. And when I get back, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully start working on a home. Okay, guys, I have been running around for five or six days collecting materials. You can see I've been running back, threw a couple of stuff into chests. This is mostly the stuff I got in the first episode, and I threw some more crap in here that I picked up along the way. Down here, I have 10 stacks of clay and 10 stacks of sand. I've got to cook all this clay. And then I can make this sandy brick stuff. So I've only got a couple pieces of coal. I'm going to start with, uh, I found some cobblestone. And I've got some regular wood here. Let's finally get a furnace made. And get that place down here. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And let's start cooking some of this. Because I'm going to need that for... Um, cooking up all that brick and then I also wanted to point out where is it I found a brown sheep and I killed it so I took that and then I have this piece of wool here and then maybe they're back in this chest yes I have nine of these cattails I'm gonna throw these together get another piece of wool I've got oh what am I yeah <laughs> let's see if I can do this there we go I have a bed Finally, for now, I'm just going to drop it over here, but this way I won't be spawning back at that village. So when night comes, I will sleep, but for now, I'm just going to be cooking clay. So I will pick back up after I get all this clay cooked. All right, we are back. I have been cooking. I now have all these stacks of bricks. And uh, just to show you what I'm going to make, I won't make you watch me make them all, but... Put the brick and the sand down, and I get these sandy blocks. And then I think from there I get the fitted sandy stone, and then from there I can make the brick, which is what I'm trying to do. Do that and that. And then I'm also going to uh, make some of uh, slabs of this stuff. Is it this way? Yeah. Maybe I'll make a stack of that. A stack, I said. Close enough. That should be good. Anyway, so I'm going to make up a bunch of that and uh, the sand. I am going to actually make up a couple of tools as well out of stone now that I've finally got that. More wood tools. And I've laid out these pillars. I've got one here. There's one over there. Let's see one right there. 
And then another one there. And this is 21 by 21. That's where the, the house slash compound is going to be. So I'm going to clear some of this out. I'm going to bring it down to this level. And I'll raise that area up. And then I'm going to start building the house. And I'm going to do that all in time lapse. So uh, stay tuned and watch me work. Okay, guys, you are probably wondering where the time lapse is of me building the house. Well, I took a look at the material and decided to do a little mathing and found out that I was very low on what I thought I would need. So I've been doing a lot of work. I've got uh, kind of figured it all out. I just need to make about three or four hundred of the um, basically the, the the block of this, not the slab, but the sandy brick block. I also uh, was running out that way. There's a little bit of a, a big body of water, and I was getting a bunch of clay. And uh, I found a little bit of iron. So I want to make, I've got a couple of wood shovels on me, but I'm going to make just one because I need about seven stacks of um, sand to finish off my building supplies. So I'm going to go get that. I did have a bunch of sand, like another stack or another about 10 or so stacks that I picked up way out that way. There is a uh, little bit of a desert, so we're going to run back out there. But I, I filled up before. I ran back over here. Uh, I think I loaded up this chest. I laid down in the bed, and then I saw the creeper. So if you look, I now have three deaths. I was exploded by a creeper while lying in my bed, which sent me all the way back to the village. But when I got back, I had a head here. So um, <laughs> that, that's me. That's my dead head. So I was over at the village. I also picked up uh, some birch saplings or spruce and got some spruce wood because that's actually one I want to use for the floor and part of the roof on this structure. So now we are going to run out to the desert. I am going to pick up um, about seven stacks of sand, and then I will have everything I need to start building. I also, if you've noticed down in my toolbar there, I have a fishing rod. I was living off of berries and the occasional mushroom that I killed, but nothing to... Uh, to really keep my hunger full. So I did a bunch of fishing while I was also cooking up all of that clay back there. So you can see I've got, what, 12 fish on me? Yeah. So no more starving. Uh, maybe it's more this way. Is it about to be night? Shit. I, I probably should have slept in the bed and made it day. Uh, I'm going to go sleep in the bed, and then I'll show you the desert. All right, we are back. So uh, if you follow that range along going a little southwest of where I am building the home, we have these dunes here with uh, plenty of sand. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not using this. I uh, thought this was sand, but it is actually hardened sand, and I can't make those blocks out of this. So I need sand sand. Um, why is that always a thing? Like if you mean sand you say it twice and that becomes sand instead of just sand it's weird and I do it I get it but it's still odd oh cool there's some oil out here that's good to know alright um, so we'll just start collecting a bunch of sand and uh, or sand sand what what is that oh hey check it out Let's go explore this first. Come on, give me good stuff. Big bucks, no whammies. There's one. Uh, okay, got some copper, that's handy. What is this? A builder's wand. I don't know what that does. And cat? No, far. Okay. Are there more? Come on, there's probably one right there. Yep. We got here. Oh, pages. Well, that's good. We need pages. So we've got another page, a quagmire biome. Holy shit! And a portal gun and another builder's wand. I don't know what those do. Iron. Well, that's cool. And ward. All right. Uh, I'll take it. I can use them. Uh, let's take these with me. I always steal the chest. We can come back for the uh, the mossy at a later date. I have a portal gun. Well, that seems kind of cheaty, almost, because I didn't earn it. 
let's see, does it, uh, let's make it work. And then if I wanted to, let's say, go over there. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. Let's hop through it. Portal guns are pretty cool. This is very handy when you have to run back and forth between a place. Boom. Check it out. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, enough playing with that, although that is a sweet little find. I am going to uh, get digging, collect sand, and then uh, finally I will build myself a home. Alright, that is seven stacks. Let's uh, head on home. We even got a couple of extras. And a portal gun. I think, which, um, you know, I'm thinking, in case I need to come back here again and get some more for whatever, I'll leave a portal open over here. Although, no, I'm not going to because I'm probably going to use this when I end up mining and that'll be an easy way to get up and down from the mine. All right, we have made it back home. I've got all the sand I need. I'm going to finish making up these blocks, and then I am going to start building. Okay, guys, it happened again. I was just about to, um, there's a chest, just about to start putting these together. I saw him sneaking up while I was inside my inventory, and I ran away as quick as I can, but apparently not quick enough. Um, I cannot wait to get this house built. I don't think I really lost anything. He didn't blow up the chest with all of our supplies. So I don't have to go back out and recollect a bunch of shit. Thank God. Uh, apparently I still have my portal gun. So I'm going to say not a big deal. Just uh, a little explosion. Maybe took a little damage. Come on, where is that chest? So I'm going to pick up this stuff and uh, then get to building. All right, so first I went around and cleared out all of the hardened sand and grass that was there and leveled it all out between all the pillars so that I had a nice flat surface to work with. You can see I'm just running around taking out some of the little bushes and shrubs so I have a nice clean slate to begin. Filling this in a little bit because it was lower than the rest of the land using whatever I had because I ran out of dirt and sand, all the stuff that I pulled up, not enough to fill it in. It's actually a little hollow back underneath there, but I went around at the end and uh, kind of leveled it out. So first I'm doing just the basic outline of what will be the fences and some of the exterior walls on the buildings. Putting a little decorative bottom border of the smooth slabs and then um, with the brick slab underneath that, making a little opening for the door, and sleeping. Then I remembered that the back building, the main portion of the building, was actually going to kind of be centered along the wall, so I took that portion of the wall back out and then put in the frame for that, as well as the uh, spruce floor. Putting in the spruce floors for the other two buildings, if you hadn't noticed that's what those were going to be and then going around with the sandy brick blocks and building up the walls. And then I realized the walls weren't supposed to be that tall. So I went back a little bit, finished off the main building, going three blocks high with the sandy brick blocks and then topping it off with that same smooth uh, pattern. And here I'm taking back out the extra area that wasn't supposed to be there and then doing the same wall structure for the other two buildings.
once I had that done, it was time to put in some doorways. And then I think I um, went around and put uh, kind of the crenellations along the wall to give it just a little more height and texture. Then putting in the windows into all the buildings. I didn't want to use glass, I decided to use uh, fences. I wanted it to be open and airy, not closed like you get with the glass panels. So this gives it kind of a more open to the air feeling and exposed to the elements. Putting in the roof for all the buildings. I liked using the spruce wood. It's nice and dark and I imagined the wood in these areas would be soaked in like creosote oil and therefore made more impervious to the elements giving it kind of a dark tone to it. Finally getting some lighting in and a little hard to see here but I am working on putting in kind of an awning by the front door. I'm gonna have to come back in later with a little bit of wool because I don't have any yet but that is ready to go. I think putting a couple more windows around the front of the building. And then lastly, I went in and tried to pepper in some of the dirt like you see in the surrounding areas. Afterwards though, I decided that I'm just going to fill the whole thing in with dirt and have everything inside my structure be grass and kind of finished off. So I ended up filling it all in at that point. But that about completes the structure, and uh, let's go take a look inside. All right, I am on my way back from getting the final pieces of the house. Just a little bit, a last little bit of decoration. Six pieces of brown wool for the awning that goes over the front door of the big building. And I, I gotta say, I'm really happy at the way this turned out. And I know what you're thinking. I said I was a horrible builder. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. You wanna go? Let's go. Come on. I, I like the chain mail. I will take it. Come on, don't hurt me because I can't regen right now. Just die. There we go. Ooh, cool. I got boots. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say, I, I know I mentioned that I am a horrible builder, and that is very true. I actually got the design for this um, from someone named Master Narwhal, and I'll post a link down in the comments. He uh, designed this building, and I just copied it for the most part, different uh, materials and what all, but I think it looks amazing. I put a couple of cactus out front as decorations, and for now I have a little fence here. I am going to be putting in a drawbridge that will automatically open and close in the future. A couple more cactuses to decorate. Put in a little pathway. Let's go ahead and drop this in. There we go. It's done. So over here, I put a little storage room with ovens and crafting, got everything sorted out and moved in. Over here, I put the bed, and I know you're thinking, why the small little room? But I wanted to, um, let's sleep. I wanted to save the big room as perhaps a spiral staircase that goes down to a mine, which we need to do because I have not done any mining yet. I have really only found some iron in a little pool somewhere, you know, down at the bottom. So next episode, we are going to start mining, but that is the house, nice and complete. Thank you, uh, Master Narwhal, for the amazing design, and um, I thank you guys for hanging out with me on Ryan's Range, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.